Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 16 Ultimate Team game. We are heading to the Super Bowl with the juiced up Xbox One squad. As you guys see, we're a fat overall. We went straight through the playoffs. Most of the games were quite a breeze. And now here we are in the big game first. Play of the game. We're looking for Heinz Ward. He sends pressure, but there goes Heinz Ward up the middle. One man to beat and he breaks off the tackle and Heinz Ward is loose. He's got a crib call and Ward just like that. That puts us up 7 nothing. When you're playing a Super Bowl game, you definitely want things like broken tackles and whatnot to go your way as he returns the kick there with Josh Cribs and gets to, like, what, the 19-yard line. So we play some pretty good special teams defense there. And how about the defense on this play? Quarterback has nowhere to go, and he's forced to throw it away. This guy had a good team. As you guys see, he has three archer in the backfield, but... He has McNabb. I think he has Sean Taylor on defense. You see, he fakes to Woodhead. It actually hits the open man for the first down on third down. McNabb's first completion of the game. Trying to get a second one on four verse. Check it out. Man wide open at the top. Doesn't see him. And instead, he tries to put his hands in the cookie jar and doesn't get away with it. Richard Sherman coming out of nowhere. The snag down one is Walter Payton with the cutback. One on one with Sean Taylor. And doesn't win it, but also doesn't lose it. So, you know, that's what we can ask for from Walter Payton. Just run these in inside zones and let him try to break a couple of tackles that's all I really want from him as Heinz Ward almost comes up with a spectacular catch in traffic as we run a screen on second down but there's a lot of traffic and Walter's only able to get two yards third down he presses down with the safety and look at that dot by Tom Brady right in the bread basket of Marcel Reese I saw he was playing down so I put a couple guys on the streak I'm like he can't guard that many people Turned out he was playing like a cover two, so it worked out well for us as he throws it in the backfield only for a gain of two. Next play, running it, but brought down immediately. Thomas Davis off the edge, playing some lockdown defense. But on third down, we try to send the blitz. Unfortunately, he's able to find the open man for it before the blitz can get home. But defense is playing so well right now, and that continues. Dominic Rogers from Marty with a tremendous one-on-one -on -one pick. Normally, you don't see those like completed, like um. For, um, or intercepted I should say but that time DRC went up and got it as the screen pass game is not really working too well Brady 4 for 5 passing liking those numbers got a lot of time since he's the only rushing 3 3rd and 13 going deep forward in double coverage but he cannot come down with it nothing was really open I should have rerouted someone but I was like you know what Ward's playing pretty good let me see if I can take a shot for him both of our you know drops have been like Ward in coverage so it's not too really big too um too big of a deal I should say I still feel pretty good about the way our offense is playing I really feel well about about how our defense is playing third down and two got the drag covered here comes two men on pressure and he throws it away almost threw an interception right there bringing up a fourth and two we're on Sherman covering everything but we don't cover the quarterback in Donovan McNabb up the middle for a first down. He needs to get some momentum going. Try to establish some offense. But look at Luke Keekley flying in there to swat the ball. That's why I love Luke Keekley. He doesn't always get the picks. But he just gets those swats. And look at that sack. J.J. Watt forcing the fumble. Joey Porter picking it up. And Walter Payton running it up the middle. That's why you get yourself a J.J. Watt in the defensive line. And Walter Payton throwing the ball. But it's picked off by Eric Berry. I try to go full savage. Well, probably should hit the X button right there. But I saw the B guy break open for a second as he sees a man break open for a second and get it. Put his hands in the cookie jar and actually got away with that one, unfortunately. Minute 47 left before half. Us turning it over in the red zone in a pretty dumb fashion. Not what you want to do in the Super Bowl as Night Train Lane almost came up with the pick on what well, was pretty much a Donovan McNabb overthrow. Second down and 10. He's trying to hit the corner. He's the tight end instead. But it's a drop pass. Open man can't make the catch in traffic. And that's why I like having hard-hitting safeties playing in the middle of the field, like a Sean Taylor, so they could jar that ball loose, as he eventually did not get it on 4th and 3x, and then we skipped that play. Don't worry about that. What you should know is on 2nd down and 9, I'm looking to go downfield. I'm testing his Sean Taylor with Marcel Reese, but Sean Taylor with the pick. What a tremendous grab right there, and for the second time in a row, we throw an interception, keeping his game alive. He has time. He's going deep. And Sean Taylor's are just punching defenses back and forth, or offense, I should say. One Sean Taylor gets the pick, and now back-to-back -back Sean Taylor picks. I'll take it, because that's our Sean Taylor making the play. Um, That's a 97 overall free safety, so obviously that guy's making plays. What you guys will be hearing in the background throughout this game every once in a while is my just opponent Brady, raging a little bit. Brady can throw on the run better than McNabb. 
Uh, he wasn't raging too hard, but you can hear every once in a while. He was definitely getting pissed off, as I don't know how Joey Porter came in pretty much unblocked around the edge right there. And he got mad about Tom Brady making that throw on the run. Second down and 16, though. He does get a completion, but that's his last timeout. So what we got to do is make sure everything stays in the middle of the field. Though he has a chance to hit the sideline right here. But Sherman and Barry, I believe, combined to keep him in bounds. Eight seconds left. He calls hard up. He might have been able to get a field goal off if he... Didn't call hurry up, but instead, three seconds left. Will he even get this play off? Yes, he does. He's got to take a shot to the end zone. Last play before that. He doesn't even get it off. Ansa and Mean Joe Green combined to bring down the quarterback. He recovers the fumble, but it doesn't really matter because that is the end of half. He does get ball coming out of half, so, you know, he has a chance to turn it around. But I always say this, man. I got to say it once again. It's one thing to be down 21 points. It's another thing to be down 21 to nothing because that means the defense is in your head throughout. But he makes a nice, nice pass there on second down and one moves to change Dree Archer with that speed to the outside but Dree can't take hits Eric Berry put a big one on there second down and six he tries to hit a hitch route that goes nowhere I think that was Josh Cribbs who's trying to get that one third down he actually runs the ball and gets the first down right now it's anything but the end zone he gets a field goal fine by me but we got to make sure he doesn't score a touchdown so we're definitely guarding the deep ball if McNabb runs the ball a little bit fine by me because that clock continues chewing down that is great especially if he kills this entire third quarter which he's kind of on pace to do as he's got two minutes left he's already burned up half that at third McNabb pressure coming and he throws it on the run had a man but McNabb can't make the accurate pass second down and that's just an overthrow by McNabb you expect Donovan McNabb to make a play like that third down the equalizer and McNabb comes through it's all passing game right now no running game and that's the way I like it we come out with some tight man coverage he's rolling out throwing it but once again <laughs> Dominic Rogers Cromartie with the pick Rogers Cromartie is a beast man I don't see me replacing him anytime soon especially not high Ward either, but Dominic Rogers Cromartie, he and Night Train Lane might just be that lockdown corner duo for a long time. Cause I mean, I just, I don't know. DRC just makes plays, man. He's just one of those glitchy mutt players that you want on your squad. Second down and six up the middle goes Sweetness. Not able to get that first down near the end of the third quarter. Actually, looked like they gave it to him. I don't know. That look like a first down to me, but I guess they gave it to him. Next play, Jordy Nelson gives us another first down. This season, this season was from a long time ago. As you see, Heinz Ward on the drag route right there, just finding the open man towards the end of the third quarter. But yeah, um, this season um, was the season that like we played and lost the game when the players were super big in October. I just never finished it until like over a month later. I wasn't really too into playing with this team. I don't know. I started to play draft champions and play with the budget squad in this team every once in a while. But we came back to it and we actually lost another game because we froze. It's fourth down and three. We do not get the first down. Keeping his game alive. I figured, you know, field goal wasn't really worth too much for us. I'd rather go for fourth and three. I had faith in my offense. We he just was, couldn't convert down when Jordy could have made the tough catch in traffic and neither his, can his receiver. But yeah, we took another loss in this season. We froze like as soon as the game started. So we went like eight and two in the regular season or something like that. Ooh, we didn't get a first round bye. We had to play like the wild card weekend and all that. But, um, None of those games were really close. I just skipped them all. As he somehow gets that catch in traffic. Once again, keeping him in this one. But Night Train Lane. He's not going to be outdone by Dominic Rogers Cromartie. He's going to make a play on a one on one ball right there. How about these cornerbacks? Sherman's been making a ton of plays. Of course, we've been using with Sherman for a while. But even when we're not using Sherman, he's making all the big plays. Third down and 10. Looking to go one on one on Mari Cooper. But Demarius Randall, the rookie from the package, I believe that's got to be his rising star card, who makes a tremendous interview. Interception. Next play, he runs it to the outside. Dre Archer gets a touchdown with a minute 52 left. And it's not over yet. I mean, we've kind of been keeping him in this game. We put up the first 14 points, and we've kind of been messing around a little bit right here. Just, you know, keeping the game alive just long enough just to keep you entertained. But we're going for the knockout punch now because I'm I'm done playing around with this guy. Like, we can't... We, We've given him one too many lives, and I'm not, I'm not giving him one more, right? We just got to play smart, run the ball, and end this game. He's out of timeouts now, so we just got to make sure we kill this clock. I'm not even trying to get the first down, but we actually get the first down anyway. Sweeten is breaking tackles, moving the chains to the 19-yard line. And with him out of timeouts, that pretty much does it for this one. As you guys see up the middle, there goes a Koye. But, I don't know, man. I just wasn't feeling the way this guy was raging on his mic. So, we go for it third and two and get the touchdown with two seconds left. He run commits. And we go for the Savage running up the score move. Really, I should be concerned about getting this game over and getting my W in a Super Bowl. But I don't know, man. I just wasn't liking the way he was trash talking on his mic, getting all pissed off. And I kind of wanted to piss him off a little bit more. That's usually what I do when I hear someone on their mic. And uh, we end up getting that touchdown. But it's all good. We end up winning the game nonetheless. You guys see that great night train lane pick. I had to go check that back out. As well as Heinz Ward. This first play, I, I think it was Sean Taylor. He broke the tackle. Well, that's one heck of a play. Ward, he missed the tackle. And then, of course, Heinz Ward's throwing up the X for some reason. But nonetheless, we do win our Super Bowl. As you guys see, Tom Brady with the great numbers. Really the one, you know, 
turnover was just a great play by the cornerback. Walter Payton had a really good game. He didn't really have any break-free runs, but he had a lot of tough yards. So I was really happy with that. As you guys see, Jordan Nelson, someone got three pancakes. But yeah, leave a like in this video if you guys enjoyed it. A lot of great defensive plays right here. I, I could spend a whole time talking about them. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, and I will catch you guys next time.